Question 8. A, B, C and D are points in a circle. We are told that the line T, D, V is a tangent to the circle at D. And we've been given the angle 71 degrees like so. And we're being asked to figure out angle B, C, D. So the end game is this angle here. And we also have to give a reason for each stage of our working. So a tricky circle theorems question, there's lots to this. Um, there's a total of five marks here, which gives you an idea that there's multiple steps to this. Um, the fact that we've been given this angle of 71 degrees, the only circle theorem that works for that is if at this point here, D, we extend it to get to, part, to, get to point B, creating this triangle and then we can use the alternate segment theorem where this 71 degrees here and this angle ABD here will be equal. So from that, we get this is 71 degrees and we'd have to use, um, or we'd have to write out, sorry, that uh, angle ABD equals 71. And the reason for that, which we have to give because the question asks for it, um, we would give alternate segment theorem. So that is the first part of this. By drawing that line in blue, we've now created also a right angle, not right angle, an isosceles triangle. These two lines here indicating that those lengths are the same. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. And that allows us to draw in angle ADB there as being 71. So angle ADB is 71. From there, we can now figure out this angle here in green because of the fact that uh, angles in a triangle add up to 180. So that would be our next reason. Angles in a triangle add up to 180 or sum to 180. So we would have 180 take away the 71 and take away the other 71 for these here, or you can add them together first before subtracting. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna end up with 38 degrees for that angle in green, which I'll just write in green here, 38 degrees. And lastly, we have a cyclic quadrilateral here, which means that the opposite angles, the green and the red ones are gonna add up to 180. So we would take away this 38 from 180 giving us 142, and we'd need to state opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. Three marks for all of the sums, and two marks for all of the reasons. Done.